members of the WEC, Wisconsin Elections Commission members, that violated the law. Racine County Sheriff Christopher Schmaling continues to insist that five state election commissioners broke the law when they allowed residents of the Ridgewood Care Nursing Facility to vote absentee in 2020 without special voting deputies on hand. The election commission okayed that because nursing homes were restricting visitors then due to the pandemic. But those commissioners won't face charges. District Attorney Patricia Hansen saying that because none of them live in Racine County, she doesn't have jurisdiction. Though in a letter to Schmaling, she blasted the commission, calling it appalling that an appointed unelected group of volunteers has enough authority to change how some of our most vulnerable citizens access voting. WEC Chair Ann Jacobs fired back. People ought to read this letter and be appalled that the preference was that people be disenfranchised rather than being allowed to vote. DA Hansen also declined to charge anyone at the nursing home. We wanted to ask Hansen about her decision, but we were told that she was unavailable, though she did appear remotely during a roundtable meeting Friday on an unrelated matter. Schmaling, meanwhile, tells 12 News that if Racine County doesn't have jurisdiction, someone else does. Will you be reaching out to other district attorneys to ask that they bring charges? I am doing that today as soon as I'm done talking to you. Jacobs calls the sheriff's actions a stunt designed to keep people from voting. Your thoughts on the fact that the sheriff is going to continue this effort? Um, I think it's grotesque. In Racine County, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Sheriff Schmeling is once again calling on Attorney General Josh Call to bring charges against the election commissioners. Call has previously declined that request.